Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Saeed Ali Mardan Nadmi. Welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss how we can calculate area with the help of double integrals. For this purpose, we will learn exercise 15.3, question number one from Thomas Calculus 12th edition book. The statement of question is, sketch the region bounded by the given line and curves, then express region areas as an iterated double integral and evaluate the integral. In this question, first of all, we will sketch the region of integration and then with the help of double integrals, we will evaluate its area. In question number one, the boundaries are given by coordinate axis and the line x plus y equal to 2. Means our region is developed with the help of coordinate axis and the line x plus y equal to 2. Now we will solve it. Uh, please note that the formula for area with the help of double integral is double integral over the region R dA where dA is a small patch of that particular area. In order to sketch the region of integration, coordinate axis means x axis and y axis. And in, after x axis and y axis, we will draw this line x plus y equal to 2. In order to plot this line, we can calculate its intercept with coordinate axis as we can put x equal to 0 in this equation, we will get y equal to 2. So we will get a point 0, 2. Similarly, we can put y equal to 0 and we get x equal to 2. So these are the points at which this line intersects our coordinate axis. In the next step, we will draw our coordinate axis. Please note that in this question, as coordinate axes are involved in marble boundaries, so I have made them dark instead of dotted. In the next step, I will mark the points, these intercepts 2 and 2 along x axis and y axis. Then I will join these two points, these intercepts. Then this line is x plus y equal to 2. So our region is this triangular region enclosed by the coordinate axis and this line x plus y equal to 2. In the next step, we will learn how we can evaluate the area of this region. For in order to calculate area of a given region with the help of double integrals, we can replace dA by two methods, either by dx dy or dy dx. Means in the first case, x is our inner variable, y is our outer. And in second case, we can choose y is as inner variable and x as outer variable. For this particular question, I am choosing the second option, y as inner. You can also check for the first option. If y is my inner variable, then in order to calculate its limit, I will use arrow technique. I will pass a vertical arrow through this region. This arrow enters the boundary y equal to 0 and exit at the boundary where the value of y is 2 minus x. So from here, we will get the limits of our inner variable y, 0, 2, 2 minus x. For the outer variable, we will always check the range of region along that particular axis. Along x axis, our region starts from point 0, means from origin, and at that, 2. So the limits of x are 0 to 2. In the next step, we will evaluate the integral. The integration of dy is y for the limit 0 to 2 minus x. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus in order to calculate the limits. Upper limit minus lower limit, lower limit is 0. So we'll get 2 minus x. In the next step, we will integrate 2 minus x with respect to x. Integration of 2 is 2x and integration of x is x square over 2 with the help of our formula for the limit 0 to 2. In the next step, we will apply fundamental theorem of calculus, upper limit minus lower limit. For upper limit, we will replace x with 2 minus, and for lower limit, we will replace x with 0. After simplification, we will get our result equal to 2. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and recommend other students to join my channel. Allah Hafiz.